Hi everybody and welcome back to the Tom Railway. This video is the next in the series about the upgrade of the Hornby Railroad Plus Delta, the one with the HM7000 sound chip fitted. You saw me fit lights to it uh, in the previous video if you were kind enough to watch it. In this video I'm going to fit a stay alive to it and that's come about by do I wanted to do an experiment to see how few wires it would take to turn a DC layout or turn my DC layout into a DCC layout. So watch this space and see how it got on. It might surprise you. Hi everybody and welcome back to Route 7 Railway. I'm in the train room feeling a bit miserable because I've just tested positive for COVID again. So I've had to cancel meeting a couple of people because I don't want them to catch it off me. So while I'm here, I'll just show you this. I'm going to do a little test on this loco that I did in my last video and upgraded it with lights um, on the Bluetooth HM7000. It's the um, Railroad Plus model. On my layout, this whole thing is a DC layout and I have two loops at the top, two loops at the bottom and they are joined by this riser here and I can run four separate locos on the four loops we're using my controllers, excuse the front being off them, I've just been messing around with some of the wiring. I designed the layout so I could set the points to create one large route incorporating all four loops and I'll show you that in a minute. But I'm going to do it on DCC and all I've done is I've put a single connection, DCC connection there and I've set the points to do this large loop and I'm going to show you that now. Now what I know has happened on this previously is that it will run without any issues but if I go over here on those points there it stops breaks connection and sometimes connects up again uh, but it's only there I'm going to show you the difference with this running as it is now and then on the same layout the same setup but with a stay alive in it so let's just set this going I'm just going to set it on speed step 50 and away we go. I haven't done it too slow because I don't want it to take all day but I can, I can do this especially with freight. I can set it up to run and it takes quite a while. Now here it's going around the bottom loop and it's going to switch to the outside. Great fun out of this where I can have one route where I can run a train for an extended period of time before it repeats. And this is going to be even better on DCC because I'll be able to run a couple of trains on it or more. So it's going up, up the riser at the back. It will go through there. You'll just see it all passing through. There's the lights there. It'll come up the top. Now what will happen is it will go onto the top loop on the outside and it will get round to that area where we've just, I just showed you and it's going to stop and jerk and I might have to help it along. But then, once I'll take it upstairs, put a stay alive in it and we'll see what happens. I will come up to the, the spot now. Oh, there we go, and it's just struggling over. Okay, so it's stopped and struggled over. It, in the pre if you run it a bit slower, it actually stops permanently, but we managed to get through. So we'll continue on the loop. And we'll come down, we'll go through into the tunnel, and we'll come down on the, ra on the gradient here.
and we'll come back and I'll stop it. That's where it started. So that's the whole loop done. So now what I'll do is I'm going to take that upstairs and fit a stay alive in it and we'll see if that makes any difference and if this bodes well for me anyway. Just one connection for DCC. If I separate everything and I wanted to run the four loops like two at the top and two at the bottom, maybe at some point just connect one connection to each of the four loops to with a, a dropper to fill in any gaps if you like it but they, with just one connection it's running fantastic i think hi and welcome back to route 7 railway excuse the voice i'm afraid covid's got hold so where are we now i've fitted stay alive to that loco as you saw earlier and um, it was stopping on the points just across the way i'll just show you there it was stopping or jerking on those points there. If I ran it slowly, it would actually stop. Uh, the speed I ran it when I showed you it on the video, it just managed to creep itself over, but there was an interruption in the power. So what we'll do, we'll set this off, loco off now, and see how it goes with the Stay Alive fitted. I'm excited, see how that goes. So off she goes. I won't film all the earlier parts. I'll just wait until it gets up onto the top and I'll cut to that in a sec. Right, we're coming up onto the raised section now. And we're heading round towards the problem point area. All smooth so far. It was running okay before anyway. So here's the, here's the relevant point. Let's see what happens. Didn't flinch. Straight over. Now I'm really pleased with that. Right, I'm sending it back to make sure that it actually works going in the reverse direction. I expect it to, I think. Nothing at all. I'm going to send it over really slowly. Absolutely brilliant. Send it back the other way. That stay alive is working brilliantly and it's solved the only problem on that on that uh, route around my layout. So what do you think of that? I'm really pleased with that. I'm now going to start fitting some more of these Bluetooth chips to other locos so I can have um, DCC running session. Because of the length of that route I'd be able to put anything up to four locos on that one route, all at different points. But I'll see how that goes. It might be just being silly there, crowding it up. I'm going to continue with that connection there, or the ability to connect there. I'm going to put a bus in, and I'm going to just drop a single connection for each loop. I'll do it for this one. I'll put a dropper in and connect it up to the bus and I'll do it for these two top ones and see how that goes. Also, I can, because my little marshalling yard here, I can put a, a single dropper in on the feed for here to run it internally. I'll be able to see then how that works. It'll only work on a section of it, but it, I might need one or two droppers here just on this marshalling yard um, and the ability to get round the back and back to the to this delivery area there. Oh, I've had a bit of an accident. OK, 
Okay. So yeah, I'll be able to, with minimal wiring, I'm going to connect up the whole layout. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.